New year, new editor. That's the way it goes when you are a creator, a developer. Your tools, well, they change up because someone who owns the tools decides to no longer make it. If you loved Adam, you'll like Sublime. Anyway, if you want an extra bonus, check out the video down there in the description of this because it goes over using ChatGPT to help you code. Whether you're beginning coding or a pro for many years, you enjoy using ChatGPT to explore libraries and just be your digital assistant to help get things done. So definitely check out that video and please subscribe because I have no sponsors. So I'm doing this just because I love sharing knowledge. It would be cool to get a sponsor one day, but the more subscriptions I get, the more I have encouragement and maybe I will entice a sponsor. So this way I could do deeper and bigger things that cost a hell of a lot of money to do. Anyway, short video on getting started and then Check out the next video on using ChatGPT with Sublime or any editor of your choice to get coding done. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, see you in the next video, but before you go, watch this video. Okay, new year and new tools to learn because we're always at the whim of people who create our tools. When they no longer want to create them, we have to move on. So if you've been using Atom, definitely time to move on to Sublime or something else. This covers quick starting, getting Sublime installed and using it on your own, and then moving on from there. Of course, you need to download it. So download the latest package for your system. After that package is downloaded, it's time to install it, and you install it by double-clicking on a Mac or a PC. On a Mac, you're just clicking and dragging into your folder of applications, and when you've done that successfully, you're going to find it in your folder, drag that to your dock so you have easy access. This shows how to quickly get started in Sublime. And what we need is to create a new page and also have the ability to refresh that page without installing a server. Save that video for another time. With Sublime open, file new file, and then press Control Shift P if you're on a PC or Command Shift P if you're on a Mac and type in install and select install package control when it's successful just dismiss the dialog box we're almost there next go sublime text preferences and to package control type in install install package and the package you're looking for is refresh right there browser refresh right over here browser refresh and that's all you have to do. Now we're ready to start creating. When you're making HTML pages with Sublime, the way it knows it's HTML is by its file extension. So save your generic new file as file, save as. I'm going to overwrite my current index.html. Make sure .html so Sublime knows this is a HTML document. Now to get all that wonderful code in there, Type a less than sign HTML and you see a contextual window pop up. Just press enter. And now you have your code of the page. I'll call this test page. And within the body, I'll write some test content. With, and there's the test content. I'm going to save this, Troll S or Command S on a Mac. And now to see this in the browser, just right click anywhere open browser and there's the wonderful page you created. Now, as you build a page, you want to be able to see this update. Instead of installing a live server, instead we installed browser refresh, which requires the least amount of technology to make it happen. Let me um, retype this as new content. And I'll make this window a little smaller so we can see them by side by side. On a PC, it's Control Shift R. On a Mac, it's Command Shift R. This saves the file and refreshes the browser. There you go. Now you're ready to go back and forth, build your page, Command Shift R to see a live preview and to refine and adjust your page to get to your final product.